So this video is about the various methods to drive the sleeve and sleeve valve engines. These are the main two. Other ways were developed, but I won't go into those right now. In this case, there's a pin on the sleeve. And in the sleeve drive shaft, there's a simple ball joint swivels around. So the pin simply goes into the joint in the sleeve and as you turn the sleeve drive shaft it drives the sleeve. And unfortunately it's hanging up but that's what drives the sleeve anyways. And as a result of being driven that way the sleeve has to has to rock back and forth as well as move up and down. I'll get into that a little bit later. The other method is to have a simple crankshaft which is driven by the, the half speed with the engine by the engine crankshaft. It's just a crank. And the ball The ball is mounted to the sleeve, the outer casing of the ball is mounted to the sleeve and it just spins around with the, the sleeve drive shaft and it can, it can swivel, it can swivel to allow the movement. So it's a very simple demonstration but then as you can see in my model here, it just produces this type of motion as the crank goes around the ball goes in and out and it drives the sleeve the correct way you end up as you can see hopefully see there you get elliptical marks on the sleeve I'll uh, explain why it's elliptical in another video now in engines that were actually built this one is the Napier Sabre. So you can see they opted to use the method where the sleeve has a pin on it. Whereas the Bristol Hercules, a radial engine, they used the uh, crank method with the uh, sleeve ball uh, bolted to the uh, sleeve in a little housing. That was uh, too complicated for me to do um, with the size of pieces on my uh, lawnmower sized sleeve valve so I opted for the pin on the sleeve and it worked out just fine. Here's a Bristol Hercules here that I've colored in. You can see the sleeve drives driven by each each uh, each sleeve had a separate uh, gear and shaft on it and here's a view of the Napier Sabre let's see here there's a sleeve pin the ball around it this is a 24 cylinder H type engine pretty fascinating it's actually where I got my drive mechanism from. Well, I'm going to end this video here, so I'll start another one explaining more.